friends, welcome back to my channel. We're here today with another Vlogmas video, which means we have another book list, another challenge. Today we are going to continue with our series of color-coded books, which we have been doing using the series of books that I showed you. These came from Penguin Random House. Thank you, Penguin Random House, for sending these lined notebooks my way. We've been using the checklist in the back of each of these eight notebooks to do color-coded list challenges. Today we're up to purple books. We started reading with red books. <laughs> red books like this one, red books like this one, orange books like this one, and this one. And then we have yellow books like this one, and this one. 20 books in the green spectrum. Green books and blue books. We're now up to purple books. And so we're going to be using the checklist in the back of this book to see how many of these 20 books that have words in their title that reflect of a purple spectrum. We're going to see how many of these books we've read. But first, because it's Vlogmas, we must sing. We're making a book list and checking it twice. We're going to find out who's been naughty or nice. Book lists are coming to town. It's book lists, Vlogmas style. Here goes with our purple books. I'll tell you how many of these I've read and you'll tell me down in the comments below how many of these books you've read as well. First is Alone in the Kitchen with an Eggplant by Jenny Ferrari Adler, published in 2007. I have never heard of that book. Beyond Magenta by Susan Cooklin, 2014. I have not read, have not heard of that before either. Blackberry Wine by Joanne Harris, year 2000 publication. I haven't read that. Children of the Jacaranda Tree by Sahar Delijani, published in 2013. I have not read. The Color Purple by Alice Walker. That was a Pulitzer Prize winner. I have read. I also own a copy. Yay, finally got on the board. Next is Dark Elderberry Branch by Marina Sveteva, published in 1923. I have not read. Gin Patrol on the Purple Line by Deepa Anapara, published in 2020, is on my TBR, but I haven't yet read it. Empress Orchid by Anchi Min, published in 2003, I have not read. Fig by Sarah Elizabeth Shantz, published in 2015, I have not read. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, published in 1939, I would like to read that next year, I haven't yet read it. The Lavender Garden by Lucinda Riley, published in 2012, I have not read. March Violets by Philip Kerr, published in 1989, I have not read. Mauve Desert by Nicole Brossard, published in 1987, I have not read. Purple Hibiscus by Chimamandan Ngozi Adichie, published in 2003, I have not read. Redemption in Indigo by Karen Lord, published in 2010, I have not read. Riders of the Purple Sage by Zane Gray, published in 1912, I have not read. Save Me the Plums by Ruth Rachel, published in 2019, I have not read. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, published in 2005, I have not read. Under the Lilacs by Louisa May Alcott, published in 1878, I have not read. The Wild Iris by Louise Glock, published in 1992, I have not read. The 20 purple books listed here, I've only read one. I hope you did better than I did, but don't tell me your score yet. You're going to tell me in the comments down below. But first, we must switch to our white books using this lined notebook that has a checklist of 20 books that has white or some variation of an item that is white colored in the title. And so we have 20 books. Let's see how many of these we've read. First is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, published in 2014. I have not read it. The Chalkman by C.J. Tudor, published in 2018, I have not read. City of Glass by Paul Oster, published in 1985, I have not read. The Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell, published in 2004, I have not read. Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, published in 2011, I have not read. Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier, published in 1999, I have read. Grey Mountain by John Grisham, published in 2014, I have not read. House of Sand and Fog by Andre Dubas III, published in 1999, I have not read. House of Stone by Anthony Shahid, published in 2012, I have not read. Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, published in 1947, I have not read. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, published in 2002, I have not read. Milkman by Anna Burns, published in 2018, that was the Booker Prize winner that year, I have read. The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins, published in 1868, I have not read. 
The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, published in 2001. I've owned this copy for a while. I haven't yet read it, so no. The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris, published in 1988. I have not read. Silver Sparrow by Tayari Jones, published in 2011. I actually did read that earlier this year, so yay! The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Yeats, published in 1962. I have not read. White Teeth by Zadie Smith, published in 2000, I have read, yay. The White Tiger by Aravind Adiga, published in 2008, I have read, this is another Booker Prize winner. And The Wings of the Dove by Henry James, published in 1902, I have not read. So those are the purple books and the white books. I read one of the purple books and five of the white books, so I got six out of 40, which is probably the best score I've had so far in the color-coded uh, challenge. Would love to know your score down below. I hope you were taking the quiz along with me and let's chat down there. If there are books that I mentioned on this list that I haven't yet read and you think I may enjoy based on books that I've read and discussed previously, would love to know your recommendations down there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more. We'll be back soon with another video. So coming tomorrow, we have one more of the color-coded notebooks to complete, as well as we have a bonus challenge tomorrow. Come back for tomorrow's video as well, and until then, happy reading. Bye!